Hi again. The other day I was talking to someone at work and we were talking about the possibility of doing a building with the shape of a topography. Uh, it means if you have an interesting site and you like the way that the topography changes and you think that you could design the building based on that topography and we were looking at this building the Rolex Learning Center in Lausanne and I was thinking how, how this could be based on the topography that uh, a mass that you extrude or uh, you can change later with voids or with other manipulation but we could start from the topography so the way I would do this is I would come here let's go in a plan view so we can work better and uh, let's just draw some lines and let's just draw a rectangle maybe if I rotate this a little bit let's think that we'd like our building to be here let's keep it simple we could do something more interesting but let's just go with this so what I would do is go into massing and site use the split surface to select our surface draw the rectangle again if I go in 3D I isolate this one and export I can call it whatever so what I do now is create a new mass which I call building building from DWG I'll go to insert link CAD pick this C1 and I have my building if I unpin this I can actually move it up uh, maybe yeah five meters and we do have our offset topography in the shape that we wanted uh, of course I could have cut this more make the circle voids or something else that I wanted but what I would do now is go back in massing inside and do roof and we could start picking these actually we can pick them like this create roof. we do have our roof it doesn't look bad if we would go in our visibility settings and turn these off you can see we wouldn't see the cat then we'd come into roof go into roof and we'd like to hide these ones these work with when we're modeling floors and we have edges but in this occasion it doesn't work because those are not interior lines those are bits of roofs and you'll always see those lines so it really doesn't work very well you're gonna see those lines and in fact the surface is triangulated although it looks smooth probably smooth enough but you'll always see those lines so perhaps this is not the best way so another option if I just go back another thing that we do so if, if I start a component here I have this family and I've used it in a video before all this is if I select it all this is it's just a cross it's just a cross lines so 2d lines and it's in a, a planting family so if I go back to the project and I place these because it's a planting family I can place it I can place it in the topography but what I will want to do is again create a mass and I call it well mass building and I'll start placing my component I can place a few of these and what I would do next is go to reference line and use the spline through points to so make sure this one is ticked so we're not drawing on reference plane well best practice is that we select this isolate and we place our reference line this way we are sure that we're placing the spline point in the way in the place that we want hosted on the cross family so this should have been a reference line 
if I go in 3D, I see that my reference line is hosted along the hosted on the planting families along the topography. So all I need to do, maybe now I can unhide the rest. All that I need to do is copy these a couple of times, as many times as I I would want. If I go back in 3D, everything is as I expected. I can just create form, select only the lines, not the planting families, and we create form. Interesting. Uh, it goes back to do the same thing, but because now we have planting families and we don't want to select those, we want only to select the points. If we try to move it, we wouldn't be able because the points are hosted on the family. So what we have to do is select the level so that these points now are not hosted on those families. It's going to lose the association, but now they move up and down as we wish. Of course, we can do the same. Just remove the planting and we could actually keep it instead of moving F like this just probably want a slab on the bottom and still have a slab on the top and we could do that so we'd finish math we go back we're gonna hide our planting families we go back to the massing roof and we can select our roof create roof We can now hide the mass and we have we have our slabs. And this way it's a lot smoother because it was made out of out of mass. The other advantage of this that if we select the mass again, we have the points. Uh, so it means that we can make changes later because we want it to be a little bit different. And all that we would do is finish math, select that one, and update to face. Pretty cool. So if I edit again, I could actually do something like uh, this. And we could create form. And change this. Well, maybe we, we don't want to make a hole through both, but that is a decision later. I could make this void. Now, when we finish mass, when we update the face, we have that. Of course, we could do a, a bunch of different things, but because it's a mass, you have a lot of a lot more flexibility. You can do whatever you want with it. And you could have your building. I'll still, before I finish, I'll share one more. If you'd like to do the glazing around, it's actually quite simple. If you go in level zero, we finish the mask. We have a wall. And I could say that all of these our curtain wall. If I go here, but I could select them, attach. To the top. Now what I would do is go back to mass. Again, roof. So that they are two separate elements. And I can select all, attach, base. We have to select this one here and select the base. And there you go. It's an interesting result. Pretty simple technique. I didn't take a lot of time to explore additional ways of doing this, but uh, I believe that you could do something quite interesting. So if you have any other comments or ideas, please comment below. If you like the video, press like and I'll keep doing 
videos this kind. So thank you for watching and see you next time.